so chapter name is genetics and evolution okay now this is just the main heading of the chapter genetics and evolution under this we will have three to four chapters just like how we had reproduction under that we had four chapters we, normal general reproduction which is not there now second is reproduction in flowering plants Sec third was reproduction in human beings and the fourth one was reproductive health. Similarly, in this also, we'll have three chapters. <clears throat> so, gen what is genetics? Study of genes. Okay. Genetics means the study of the genes. Where are genes located? Yeah. In the DNA. Inside the body, there are cells. Inside the cell, there is a nucleus. And in the nucleus, there is chromosome and in the chromosome there is DNA and these genes are nothing but a segment of DNA. The genes function is to code for a protein. Okay? It codes for a particular protein. Now your skin color might be different because your genes code for different protein. Your eye color, <clears throat> hair color, because of the protein which the gene codes. So genetics is the study of the Transmission of characters from mother to the offspring. Transmission of characters. What is evolution? Change. Evolution can be, in simple terms, we can say some change. We all have evolved. Okay? We all have started from a single cell, that is, which was prokaryotic, then eukaryotic. Okay. From that fungi is developed, from that plantae, one line went to form animals, <clears throat> like that. Okay, now let's come to the main part. Hmm. So the chapter name is Principle of Inheritance and Variation. So in this we'll be studying about principles or the laws which tells how the characters are inherited and how there is some variation. What is inheritance transfer? What is variation? Different. Different. Okay, they are different. Although we all are human beings, okay, but we all are different. different. That is called variation. We all have some characters which tells us that we belong to human beings. <coughs> but our looks are different. We don't look exact copy of each other. Okay, That is called variation. Under this, we'll be having this uh, crossing over, back cross, test cross, variations, mutation, sex linked inheritance, sex determination, linkage, now, what you can see about this <coughs> picture? There's a deer and a fawn. There is a dog and a pulp. Hare and liveret, cub, tiger, crocodile, hatching, hatchling, raccoon and kid. They look like their parents. Okay, they exactly will look like their parents. That means there are some characters which are passed from the parents to the offspring. That's why they look exact copy of each other. Okay. See, when you take a rose cutting, obviously you will get a rose plant. If you take a rose cutting, if you grow it, you will get a rose plant. A horse will give rise to a horse only. You will not get a donkey or a monkey. It will be always a horse. So there is one statement which says, like begets like okay like begets like but what happened are they exact copy see now this mother and horse only you can see the horse is, this one is white that one is black but they are not exact copy of each other even in twins even in twins if a twins are born there will be some difference in the twins even in twins there will be difference 
no series cat this is the mother and these are the kids they are all cats but they are not exact copy they look different so these differences are called as variation these differences are called as variation every living organism has a set of characters by which it can be assigned to a particular species we all have some set of character which gives us and uh, which which categorizes us under a particular species okay homo sapiens human means homo sapiens so we all belong to that species and can also identify from one member of its species we can also differentiate us although we all belong to same species but we can easily identify each other by our character now heredity the transmission of characters heredity is the transmission of characters now these characters can be resemblance and also the variation okay resemblance and variation from one generation to the next is called heredity so it is transmission of characters it can be resemblance now people and now they almost look same that is resemblance but you and uh, tasmia and ayan they are different okay that is called similarity and variation to the next generation okay. here you can see <clears throat> this is our heredity heredity is transmission of characters kis mar pa jani that was their belief first Okay. So they look almost same, or there will be some difference. Okay. See these characters, this curly hair. Here it is there, but here it is not there. Okay. Then from here, it passes on to this one. That curly hair is lost. Okay. So some characters are continued. Okay. Then genetics. It is the scientific study of genetics. Is the scientific study of genes, but in that we have to study mechanism of inheritance by which characters are passed from parents to offspring. Mechanism, how the characters are passed from parent to the offspring, and the second part is the cause of variation in the living organism. Cause of variation in general genetics is study of. heredity and variation so genetics means we have to study both why we look like our parents as well as why we don't look exactly like our parents in genetics means we have to study why we look exactly like our parents but not exactly like our parents so it will tell you study of heredity as well as variation <laughs> so human inside the human there are cells inside the cell there is chromosome then we get dna and this nucleotide a part of a dna segment is called as gene a gene is a segment of dna that codes for a particular protein now these genes are transferred from parents to offspring some genes may not get transferred they will become recessive and dominant which are all no no dominant gene recessive gene so based on dominance and recessive the characters will be shown now heredity transfer of information from whom to whom parent to the offspring this is transfer of information from parent to the offspring so this curly hair is transferred to the child from mother it went to the child okay. now early pre mendelian mendelian theories of heredity okay this is not there in syllabus but just for general knowledge early before they used to think, uh, think different like how a baby is born there are different theories yeah p class yeah gregor john mendel okay. this mendelian before mendelian many theories were given about heredity mendel was the first to study on transfer of characters from parent to offspring now many theories were put forward but parent character uh, put forward what they used to say parent characters 
mix or blend during transmission. The parent character used to mix during transmission, and that's why it is called as theory of blending inheritance. Okay. Now these are just simple theories. Vapor theory. Okay. Then we have fluid theory. Then we have conformation theories, particulate theories, and theory of pendulum. Okay. Now let's see what is vapor theory. Organ of an animal body emits some kind of vapor. And that a new individual was formed by combination of the vapor of the different organs. Okay, each organ used to emit vapor, and this vapors used to combine to form different organs together in the female. Here you can see moist vapor from the body of male. This vapor combines to form the development of embryo, and this embryo was developed in the uterus. Okay. Vapor theory. This was given by Pythagoras, six hundred BC. Then fluid theory. Okay, man semen was said to be highly purified. Man semen was said to be highly purified, and woman's menstrual fluid was not pure. Menstrual fluid is mostly the red color, so it is not pure. This was white, that's why it was pure. They used to consider that. Now what is to happen? Two fluid is to mix. Both the fluid is to mix. Female semen provide only inert substance for the formation of embryo. Female semen was providing just the environment for the development of embryo. And male semen, okay, male semen gave form and vitality to the embryo. G A V gave means it gave the birth, it gave the form, the organism, how it is that was provided by the Male semen. Female semen was just giving the environment. Okay. This was given by Aristotle. Then performation theory. Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Okay. This was first. He first observed sperm. Now here something called sperm is coming. He was the also known as father of microbiology. He was the first to make a microscope. Make a microscope. It was the first. Yeah, first thing. microscope. That's why he was able to see the sperm. Okay. What he used to see? Each sperm is a potential human being. Each sperm, sperm is a potential human being, and this sperm, when it enters a human womb, okay, it will develop into a human being. Each sperm, just like a tadpole, okay, develops into frog. He used to think that each sperm is a potential human being, and when this sperm enters the female womb, it will develop into a organism. But he failed to explain the maternal character. If each sperm was a potential human being, then how the baby got female character or maternal character, or how the child turned into a female? Okay, how the child turned into a female? Now, other scientists called spermidum said miniature animals in gamete. Okay. Each gamete, there were small animals, the female as well as the male. Okay, either female or male, each gamete. So, female gamete will have small animals, female, and male uh, gametes will have small animals, male. Okay. Then we have particulate theory. This was given by Mopitius. What does this say? Each animal produces minute particles for reproduction. Each animal produces minute particles for reproduction. Almost same like now what we say, sperm and egg. He didn't give the name. He said they produce minute particles for reproduction. New individual is formed by the union of these two particles. New individual was formed because of union of these two, two particles. Just like how we get zygote from fusion of male and female gamete. So he was somewhat correct, close to the day. Then the last theory of pangenesis. According to pangenesis, genetic information from different parts of the body travel to the reproductive organ where it is transferred to form gamete. So each information of the head, information of the hands, nose, mouth, ears, eyes, legs, all information 
will form small molecules will go to the reproductive part where it will combine to form the sperm and egg and they will fuse to give the zygote that will have all the information of the body okay. so then we have mendelism so he was an australian monk gregor johann mendel australian monk so, Austrian, sorry, Australian, Austrian monk. Okay, and since he was poor, he was not able to take much of education. That's why he became a monk. He was not wealthy. He was a member. Of, he belongs to peasant family. Okay, so that's why he was not able to study further, and he became monk. But he used to take classes in the church. Okay, then he worked on a pea plant. Pilsum satyavi. Initially, he was studying physics and other subjects, but later, after seeing his garden, mm -hmm. he got interested in the pea plant and he wanted to study how these characters were transferred. So, he did many, conducted many experiments on this pea plant. He conducted many experiments on this pea plant. He is also known as the father of genetic. He is known as the father of genetic. But there is one thing. His discovery initially was not accepted by the other scientists. He was, he, after his death, he was given the name father of genetics, not during when he was alive. He worked and he kept his work, he kept his journal at one place. Okay? He was not accepted by most of the scientists, but later many scientists worked again on the same in different countries, not there. And they came to know that like, this is almost the same what Mendel had given. And no, then later, huh? Mendel, name? Gregor, Gregor Johann. Johann Mendel, J O H N, J O H N. -N. Okay, Johann Mendel. So, which are the scientists? So, Mendel discoveries was not appreciated by the scientists during that time. Why it was not appreciated? Because he was far ahead of that time. Okay, he was far ahead. Like we used to think when we were small. They used to tell when you go close to the tap, the water will come. If you just keep your hand, the water will come. If you remove hand, the water stops. Okay. We used to think this was not possible. But now it is possible, no? Because of the sensor. There is a laser light which comes. When you block the sensor, the tap opens. The water comes out. If you remove your hand, you don't block the sensor, the water stops flowing. Okay, similarly, during that time, what he was saying was not acceptable because he was far ahead of the time. Second thing, limited circulation of journal. Whatever work he was doing was not circulated over all the over the world. It was just circulated limited. If other scientists from outside countries would had read his work, they would have accepted. But it was limited circulation of the journal. He was only not sure. He worked, but he was only not sure. Because he was, he didn't, he is not a big scientist. He is just an Austrian monk who has studied physics. He is not a biologist initially. Later he got interested in biology. So he was only not sure. And most important is mathematical approach. Mathematical. He used statistics. He was the first one to combine statistics with biology. He used statistics. Whatever record he used to do, he used to write in math form. That's statistical. I grow 50 plants, 20 give me uh, green seeds, 30 give me yellow seeds. So records were maintained in men. So this was also not accepted. Combining two subjects. So that's why in 1900, three biologists conducted individual experiments. So in 1900, three biologists, they conducted individual experiments. Okay. And they were studying what Mendel was doing. Now, which are the three scientists? You go to Greece. Okay, you go, you go to Greece. That is from Netherlands. Then we have Karl Korans from Germany. And Erich von Schumach from America. These three scientists started working on transmission of characters. Okay, and then they came to know that it was exactly what Mandel had published. And Mandel was was republished in his journal, Ujo Dubra's journal. His work was republished. Okay. And what he did, uh, he studied on Pisum satyavum. Mm -hmm. That general thing will study plus dihybrid clause is there. 
also in class 10 we have just studied mendel's laws of inheritance and we had accepted but there are some laws which are not accepted by other scientists for example blending of character why only dead character is shown why other characters are not shown that we'll study in next class okay? Okay. about mendel any questions uh, this chapter 15 marks okay. it will have so